as if the disasters couldn't pile up quick enough for the former royals known as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Now clearly their major paymaster has decided to turn upon them but it's more intricate than you possibly first think. Let me explain. Good to see you. You're all right today. Thank you so much as ever for your time and welcome one and all brand new subscribers. I'm glad you enjoyed our video about Benny Hill. You know, fascinating stories that come out when you get chatting to people and you can understand exactly how it's nothing new in the world of show business, is it? Manipulation is the key factor. You know, you sort of promise them one thing, dangle another and then hope, of course, nobody actually remembers what you've said or done. You get the picture. I always find this sort of thing fascinating in itself, but if you haven't checked it out, as I often said, there's lots more on this channel that you may enjoy. Some nostalgia, some news, and of course, lots of royal. A little bit like this. Now, I don't know about you, what about a spiteful thing to do, literally hours after that very much, you know, I thought positive, but yet slightly heartbreaking video from Catherine and William. I thought it was delightful, uh, but you know, there were sort of certain scenes where you kind of remember what she and what many others are going through and how it affects people. Her words really resonated, you know, with me. I kind of thought, yes, we should try and sort of cherish the moments in life. I've often said that to you, our chums, haven't I? Grab what you can because, you know, life's precious, all that sort of stuff. What's fascinating, though, is, as you saw, the... <laughs> the sort of, how can I put this nicely, documentary, trailer, whatever you want to call it, for Prince Harry's polo show has now emerged. Now, here's the deal. That show is not coming out till December. Nobody needed to drop that particular um, video out exactly at that time. The initial idea, and this is 100% in the scheduling from Netflix, was going to be the middle of October because they felt that this was a slow drip down into the December release. No, some Somebody decided to release it, of course, because they believe they could capitalise on the popularity of Catherine and the British royal family. So who made that decision? Well, I can tell you as someone who knows someone exactly very important high up in Netflix, they do take their orders from the executive producer, particularly when they feel there's a hot moment, as they call it in the media world, where you could capitalise and perhaps get more subscribers just by seeing the trailer. And that they took their instructions from none other than the executive producers that are Harry and Meghan, as ever, allegedly. They make the decision it's their program in conjunction with of course another production company and the streaming giant Netflix. Crass, stupid and more importantly gives a lot of time for a lot of people to dissect exactly what they've been making. It's all about the elite sport of course and we're supposed to care about that over one woman's battle against a terrible disease affecting so many people around the world. You couldn't create their own stupidity. But here's the one thing that actually it tells you about Netflix. I've been told from inside sources they know this is a turkey. And the reason why they're putting it out in December is because it will get lost, as they think, in the better programming, you know, the seasonal stuff. If you remember their business show, they lost that in December around about that period last time because they knew that was also a turkey. So whether Prince Harry and Meghan Markle think they've got a, an own goal with their forthcoming polo show, truly they really need to think again. Netflix don't care, they've given up and the bottom line is if it gets them a few more subscribers so be it and at what expense of others they don't care because eventually when they cut Harry and Meghan loose as they surely will do after these two disasters looming well where else can they turn? It's interesting development don't you think? Neil Sean in the very heart of London.